All right, we're gonna go ahead and start up on the back here. Um, the procedure is gonna be very similar to the front, um, but we're gonna go ahead and highlight each step for you again. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we've got a bolt back here that's holding this caliper in place. So we're just gonna break that loose. Okay, now this bolts out. And for this particular um, caliper here, we can actually just rotate it out of the way. Um, rather than removing the entire thing, we're just gonna go ahead and do that for this particular setup here. Okay, so now that we've got the caliper out of the way, just take these brake pads out. So we're just gonna clean the guides again, hit it with a little bit of brake cleaner, get in there with the metal brush, wipe down the excess, repeat that for the back guides. Again, remove the uh, brake wear indicator from the old pad, then pop it right back on. And again, we're gonna apply a very light uh, coating of grease to the guides here that we just cleaned, top and bottom, and then in the back as well. And we're gonna coat the back part of these new brake pads with just a very light coating of brake grease. We're gonna go ahead and repeat the process of depressing the uh, piston, the caliper piston. Um, same as before, the uh, only difference is this time we decided to depress the caliper piston first um, because we are leaving the caliper on the, uh, on the assembly here instead of removing it. Um, so oops, we wanna make sure that that piston is depressed before we, put the, before we put the new pads on. So now we have the piston depressed, we can go ahead and um, put the new brake pads back in, just slide them right into the guides, they should seat nice and snug. So we're going to go ahead and take this bolt again and just reattach the caliper. Alright, nice and tight here. So now we've got the wheel secured, um, We're again we're going to go ahead and let it off the jack stands, go around again and make sure that all the lug nuts are in there really nice and tight. Um, but that's pretty much it for this brake job. I hope you can see how simple it is to replace your own brake pads with just a few simple tools out here in your driveway. Um, pretty much anyone can do it. So be sure to check out Auto Shepard, get yourself some new brake pads, install them yourself, and I'm sure you'll have a good time.